Hey friendlies, it's Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. Well, it's raining in the desert. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to answer a question I get from you a lot. And that is, how do I make sure I'm not parked in a wash when I'm in the desert boondocking? And so today I'm gonna to show you how to identify a wash and how to find a safe place to park when you're boondocking in the desert or whether you're hiking in the desert or just camping. I'm gonna show you what to do, what to look for. So to make sure you don't get carried away in in a flash flood in the desert. I am standing here on a very flat rocky area in the desert outside of Quartzsite, Arizona. And if you're looking for a place in the desert to boondock and you're worried about rain, flash floods, and washes, this might be something you wanna look for. Some people might look at this and mistake this for a wash because it's flat it's wide and it does look like water has carried rocks down here and wiped out all the foliage and you would be right. The only thing is it happened millions of years ago. <laughs> this all used to be covered in water and the water ran off the mountains bringing all of these rocks with it. So when you're boondocking in the desert, especially in a class C, this is a wonderful area to look for and you'll see up here my RV Matilda is parked on one of these flat rocky areas the thing that you want to look for when you are boondocking in the desert is you want to make sure you're not on the lowest point this is not a wash because there are lower points around me and I'm going to show you that here in a second Capone and I are now sitting in a wash. So how do you identify a wash? It basically is a little bit of a gully, a little bit of a valley. It looks like a dry river or creek bed. Uh, so you'll be able to recognize that just by the fact that it looks like a creek or a river with no water in it. And this is on one side of my camp. This is one of the shallow ones, but when I'm looking for a place to boondock in the desert and I wanna be careful that I'm not gonna be washed away in a flash flood, this is what I'm looking for. I'm in a gully, basically. And this is one of the shallow ones. There are deeper ones on the other side side of me but I know my rig is right up there I am not in the lowest point on this desert so if a lot of rain comes we get a lot of water I know that the water is gonna run down here and not through my camp okay now this is a wash <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me or see me but this is a wash this is I don't know, maybe a hundred yards wide. And this is on the other side of my rig. So I know if any water is gonna come, it's gonna come through here. This is what you wanna look for when you're boondocking in the desert in the rainy season. A wash, at least on one side of your camp. Okay, we're in the second wash. This one is really wide. It's probably about a hundred feet wide and it's pretty deep. It's taller than me. Um, I'm not gonna be able to show you. Oh, you can probably see there behind me. So this is a pretty big wash. I feel really safe being here just a hundred, maybe 50 yards away from this up there on the top that I just showed you a few minutes ago. This is what a wash looks like. And a lot of these dump right into main roads and they might look tempting for driving into to camp, but don't. They might look like they might look like roads, but they're not. They're rivers when it's raining. So do not pull into one of these. And you can tell, I mean, they really you if you look closely, you can really tell that water runs through here. They're uneven, they're rocky, and oftentimes, unlike the area that I showed you that's flat and free of greenery there's stuff growing in here and I'm in the middle of the desert so why is stuff growing in here because there's water <laughs> so this is what you want to look for it's uneven unlike where I am which is very flat and rocky this is uneven it is rocky and there are things growing in here 
which is a sure sign that there's water in the desert where there's not a lot of water. Might be tempted to think that if you see this on the side of the road that it's a road because oftentimes the roads have been graded and they have the piles of rock that you can't get over. You might see a wash go onto a main road and think, oh, that's the perfect place to drive into. It's a road I can drive on. It's not a road. It's a dry riverbed. Look at this. Okay, if this doesn't look like a dry creek, <laughs> I don't know what does, right? That is a dry creek. Okay, so that's what you wanna look for. I am in a wash. We are about to get rain over the next couple of days here in Quartzsite, Arizona. This is what you wanna look for to make sure you stay safe. Uh, no hiking when rain is coming. Definitely do not park your rig in this. Do not mistake a wash off of main road as a road. If you are unsure, get out by foot and investigate. If nobody else is down there, especially in Quartzsite where it's really crowded, you know you probably don't want to be there. Look for something that looks like a dry riverbed with trees and greenery, not cactus, but trees and greenery like you see here behind me. There you go. Okay. There are my tips for how to boondock safely in the desert and how to spot a wash. Remember, you never, ever, ever want to park in a wash because you just never know. It may not even be raining in your area, but it could be raining a hundred miles away and it could be gushing down from the mountain mountains and you could get washed away. So be safe out there. Be careful. Make sure you are aware of your surroundings. I talked about that in my safety video uh, as far as watching for people predators, <laughs> but you want to watch out for mother nature too. Always rule number one about being safe, living in an RV and boondocking, backpacking, anything you're doing, be aware of your surroundings. And this is one way to stay safe in the desert during the rainy season. Be aware of your surroundings, park on high high ground, do not park on washes, and look to make sure there are some washes around you if you're if you're not sure, you want to make sure there are low points around you. This one is great. This is very low. It's right next to me. Okay. I hope that helps. A lot of people have asked me how to make sure you're safe when, you, safe when you're um, parking in the desert. And this is how I do it. I look around and make sure I'm not the highest person on the, on the desert. All right. Thank you all very much. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, be happy, be free. Please be kind to one another. I love you guys. See you soon. <laughs>